in a time where sophisticated drone technology and futuristic systems exist, it's unthinkable that drones manufactured in African countries will satisfy basic efficiency and functionality. While the Western countries invest billions in aviation, it's a shame to witness African drones that appear more like amateur crafts from comic books. Check this out. These drones are something that you've never seen before. Some are made of food and others from toy parts. This odd looking drone was specifically built for defensive purposes. The drone has a plane like structure with propellers at the sides. It may look not fly worthy, but surprisingly, it can fly. In his own country in Ethiopia, where drones are as rare as they come, this young lad saw the opportunity to make one himself. To demonstrate it can be used for defensive purposes, he uses some fireworks. Do you think it can be used for defensive purposes like the American drones? Relax. Relax. The inventor screams relax, but the drone screams danger. But they really don't care. Please relax. Built from scraps and powered by sheer determination, this drone takes off shakily, leaving on Lucas unsure if it will land safely. The drone was invented to assist with agricultural tasks like crop monitoring and spraying. It sounds like a lawn mower, which is pretty much hazardous. <laughs> However, it didn't quite meet the expectations in terms of safety measurements. And in case you thought you saw everything, well, you're in for a surprise. Next, we have a drone that was constructed from materials like styrofoam and cotton box. It was designed to assist with law enforcement, particularly in monitoring wildlife and preventing poaching. I'm not sure he was serious though. Because I'm still wondering how a drone made from cotton box will ensure law enforcement. Ghana, a country where drones are considered a phenomenon, this inventor saw this as an opportunity. If you've ever built something from scratch, you know that it takes crazy amounts of work. On top of that, he gets to marry the woman of his dreams from his local village. So yeah, it's pretty cool considering where it's from. The next drone is something you might not expect. So uh, it actually fits wingspan. As you can see, it's, it's much more taller than me. Well, this might sound hilarious. It's a prime example of using what you have at your disposal. Or you call it drone. So I designed this UAV here. This drone was built to help with protecting the community and providing surveillance in areas where technology is a phenomenon. And this plane, the total weight is about 3 kg. It's about 3 kg. And uh, I'm hoping it will give me a good performance and also... Well, despite its unconventional or weird appearance, it actually takes off. Drone companies, you better watch out. There's a new sheriff in town. But that's the beauty of homemade innovation. You can do whatever you want with the design. Whenever you want. Yay! And speaking of taking off, do you think the next drone will fly? The drone is perhaps the most comic thing you'll see today. This drone made from firewood and ketchup bottle defied the expectations by actually taking off. It defied the laws of physics. He built this drone as part of an educational project, but ended up being dismissed as too elementary and childish. 
But it's blind though. I mean, at the end of the day, it did achieve its main purpose. So in other words, he proved that, as they say, if it's working, don't change it. You might be wondering how he managed to build a drone from scrap and ketchup. Well, this is Africa. Last but not least, we have what might be considered as the most expensive homemade drone in Africa. This drone is another masterpiece of resourcefulness which was built to address the challenges of transporting goods in remote areas and regions with lack of roads. More of a logistic drone. He's trying to fly it, but it won't take off. I guess it's because it's under temporary leave <laughs> or it's because it can't defy the laws of physics. What you're about to witness next is a showcase of the most creative, resourceful, genius, homemade drones ever built. If the plane doesn't balance to well, in its center of gravity, which is about one fourth of the wing cord, it will fly well. So let's see if this works. Looks good to me. Anyway, after several rounds of improvision and improvements, it managed to take flight. I mean, it's truly a testament to what can be achieved with nothing or just a little. Though made from scraps, this drone has managed to perform its intended function, and that is delivering goods where they needed the most. These homemade drones may seem as childish, but they represent the creativity and determination of African inventors who refuse to let lack of resources stand in the way of their dreams. Smugglers should look out for this guy, man. These drones serve as a reminder that Africa still has a long way to go before they can be considered a serious force in the drone industry. Well, thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to join our mysterious adventures across Africa. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.